So it's not like I necessarily need a $425 perfume that I'm not like in love with. You know what I'm saying? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for choosing this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, I'm excited for today's video. Today's video is going to be on Baccarat Rouge 540, the extrait version. So if you saw my last video, which I'll link up above, I did a review on Baccarat Rouge 540, just the original perfume. I was disappointed. Um, I had really high hopes for it based on everyone else's reviews that I had saw, all the impressions that I heard. Um, it just didn't work with me. So multiple people, including my homegirl, Ashley, I'll link her channel down below. She told me to check out the extrait version. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We're checking out Baccarat Rouge 540 extrait. Now I'm hoping that this one works out better for me because damn it, I want Baccarat Rouge too. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it. All right guys, so this is her. <laughs> this is her. Yeah, this is her. Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait um, by Mason Francis. Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. Damn. So this is the box love the detailing it's like the same box um as the original perfume just in red which makes me love it even more before we get into the perfume i'm just going to read some notes directly off the francis kirk de Jean website um it says that this perfume has jasmine from egypt saffron saffron excuse me um, bitter almond from Morocco, cedarwood, musky wood accords, and ambergris. 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 I'm not even going to get back into that like I did with the last video, but ambergris, that's how I think it's pronounced. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right. So again, the same detail as far as the tab, where you pull out the tab to... I mean, where you pull the tab to release the perfume. Here she is. Again, comes with a message card. This is her. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. Um, I'm really hoping I like this because like I said, damn it, I want Baccarat Rouge too. Like, why can't I have Baccarat Rouge? And then it makes me think like I know perfume is a chemistry thing. And granted, there's been multiple perfumes where I've smelled maybe on my mother or it smells better on me versus them. But this just stinks on me. So I want to know what is it with my chemistry that Baccarat Rouge, at least the original, didn't work with me. Like, what's my problem? All right, so here she is. Again, this is a three, no, I'm sorry. This is a 2.4 ounce, which retails, it's a little more expensive than the perfume. The 2.4 retails for, I wanna say 425, whereas the perfume, the original perfume retails for 300. So this better work. <laughs> I'm, I really want this to work. So here we go. Mm. What I can smell, it seems I. Let me just spray it on my skin. Fuck it. I'm gonna get a shot of the mister. Okay. It is a lot sweeter than the um, perfume. I still really get that it's really, I don't know what it is in it that's so medicinal, at least on my skin, but that's where my chemistry seems to be picking up, that medicinal note. I wanna wait for the dry down to see if in the dry down it changes a little, or if I like it more in the dry down. Um, 
I can appreciate the fragrance. I can appreciate what it's supposed to be, but for whatever reason on me, it's just not that. Like, <laughs> I'm guessing it's really me, obviously, because you know, you are the missing piece when it comes to perfume. Like I said, something can smell amazing on you and somebody else buys it based off of how it smelled on you and it smells completely different, so. yeah i don't like it i don't want to say i don't like it like i said i can appreciate this one the perfume i hate it i hate it that like i personally i wouldn't recommend that to anyone i would i mean i wouldn't not recommend it but i wouldn't go out of my way to tell someone to try it because i hated that one personally this one it's not a hate it just doesn't work for me. So it has dried down and um, it is a bit sweeter, which I do like, but I don't know if I like it enough for $425. Like if it was um, priced like a designer scent, like a designer um, fragrance, I would probably keep it just because, yeah. I would probably keep it because it really, it doesn't smell bad now that it's dried down. The medicinal note seems to have way, like wavered off, but I don't know if I can rely on that. This one I'm actually going to play with. I'm going to keep it for like, you know, at least a week or so um, just to see how it wears. And that'll be my determining decision because like I said, I do like it in the dry down, which is obviously how it's gonna smell. Um, the initial, I don't care for. Like I said, I keep getting that medicinal. It's not as heavy as the perfume, but I was picking up on it. Um, this one I enjoy. This one I think I enjoy, ew. <laughs> but is it worth $425? Like. My perfume collection is extensive, but I do enjoy it in the dry down. I'm gonna wear this today. I think I'm gonna make this my scent of the day, even though I did have something else in mind. Yeah, I'm gonna make this my scent of the day. I'm gonna see how it wears. Um, and yeah. Maybe I'm gonna go on about my day, do a wear test, um, go on about my day. I have to go to work, so I'm gonna go to work, see how I like it, and then I'll check back in tonight to update you on how I feel for today. And yeah, I mean, At this point, I'm like 50-50 with it. The only reason I wouldn't keep it is like I said, I'm not necessarily like in love with it. Um, for a $425 perfume, I expect to be, I expect the perfume at least to give me like love at first sniff. Like that's kind of what I'm expecting. So it's love at dry down for me, you know, which is cool. But like I said, it's not love at first sniff. Like it's just not giving me like worth 425, but it is very nice. Um, and the dry down, the medicinal note is completely gone. I'm picking up on a lot of the sweetness. but it's so well like rounded, like there's no sharp edges to it that I can't necessarily pick up on which note it is that I'm smelling, but it does smell very sweet and like sophisticated. Yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna do a wear test. I'll check back in later on um, to let you know how I feel like toward the end of the day and yeah. By the way, if you're interested, my shirt, I don't know if you can like really read it. I have such a small frame, so I feel like it might be cut off, but it says God is dope. Um, I'll link them down below their website. I really like them and they're always running really good deals and period. Like 
period it's lent hey guys so i hope this is okay but it's gonna have to do so but i just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update as far as the perfume it's currently 10 15 p.m um i filmed the video at about 12 30 ish going on one um and i can still well i still randomly get whiffs of this scent it's beautiful i'm definitely more like 75 ish you know before i was 50 50. i'm definitely thinking that i'm going to keep it um i'm not happy i kind of wanted to return <laughs> i kind of wanted to return it no i'm kidding but um yeah i'm thinking i'm going to keep it i love the scent i got actually like three compliments today on my perfume um this one girl told my co-worker actually she told me i smell rich and like how dare i come into work smelling that good so <laughs> that was really nice um yeah, so like I said, I just wanted to come back on here and give you guys an update. I'll insert some photos too um, in relations to the shirt that I'm wearing. And I hope you guys have a blessed night. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, um, share. Let me know if you want to see anything else, what you think. And yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. It means the world to me, truly. So yeah, again, I hope you guys have a blessed day, blessed night, wherever you are. And yeah, later.